I'm AMI-TV Bureau reporter Alex Smythe. In part one of this three-part AMI digital exclusive series, I'm joined by AMI-TV Bureau producers Emma Tandon, Lance Corbett, and Emily Ramsey, along with reporters Beth Deer and Chris Vallee to discuss the importance of continuing to produce new content for the disability community in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. For AMI, it really was important to continue our process of storytelling even in the midst of COVID-19. It would really have been a disservice for us to not continue to tell stories and highlight the positives that are coming out during this really tough and challenging time. One of the things about the pandemic is that there is a disproportional impact on people with disabilities. So if anything, you know, telling the stories and serving our audience uh, was even more important during the pandemic and making sure that people don't get left behind. The disability community relies on us to keep telling our stories. We just can't take a pause because everything else is on pause. Again, we are their voice. We're the only media that is still consistently telling these stories. Yeah, the world hasn't stopped and there's still disabled people out there that need to have their stories heard and people haven't stopped having challenges. So I think it's really important that, you know, our audience gets to see that. And I think for the community, it gave them an outlet to look at and see how are other people dealing with the pandemic and well i'm challenged with this certain aspect or i'm struggling in this area is there something that's being done or some organization or service that's available that i may not know about that may be able to help me address it with the vancouver bureau um we really focused a lot of our stories on the impact of the pandemic employment um, and the impact that COVID-19 was having on people with disabilities. I think that a lot of the stuff that we've done in Ottawa is really focused on uh, the resiliency of the communities here, especially in Ottawa, during a time where we can be really disconnected because of a pandemic. This virtual world has sort of opened up a new door to possibilities. So I've been able to interview people that maybe I wouldn't have been able to in person because they have limitations and aren't allowed to accept people into their bubble. But now that the virtual option is there, you know, that that is now a possibility. Obviously, nothing can replace face to face contact. But having that second option is definitely opening up a, a whole new world for some people. It allowed us to reach around the world to talk to experts, global experts on subjects that we wouldn't have been able to do beforehand if we were just shooting out in the field. We talked to a global expert from Japan. We talked to a researcher out in BC. These were not things that we did before COVID-19. So I really do hope that these types of tools are maintained and continued to be used as we move on and get back to normal. Being able to continue to tell these stories is so important, whether it's at a distance or it's in person, because these are important topics to display. And I think having this virtual option has allowed our company to explore more variety of people, different ages, different backgrounds, um, different disabilities as well. So uh, there's definitely some light at the end of the tunnel. To learn more about AMI, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.